I'm Alexis Schwerha with Canvas Reform, and today we are here at Georgia Tech, where the NCAA Division I Swimming Championships will be held on Wednesday. Uh, the competition will feature transgender swimmer Leah Thomas, who previously competed in the men's division for three years and now will be competing in the women's division. Thomas's participation has stirred up a lot of controversy, but what do students here at Georgia Tech think? Let's go find out. Georgia Tech will be hosting the NCAA Swimming Division I Championships and there's been a lot of controversy over a transgender swimmer, Leah Thomas, who is a biological male competing in the women's division. Um, he competed for three years as a male on the men's team and now transitioned to compete on the women's team. What was your reaction to this? It's like kind of hard. I was an athlete. At the same time, I can't try and tell them that they shouldn't feel that way. If a person has transitioned thoroughly and has the same muscle mass as someone that was assigned to be remote birth, they should be able to compete with people that were assigned to be remote birth. I'm an athlete. I like sports. Seeing a guy participate in women's sports this isn't fair. I don't like seeing it. Obviously, he's dominated the scene. It's just a little disappointing. You want to be like fair to people to compete where they feel comfortable at the same time. You have that sort of unfair competition as a Division I student athlete, I would feel like there was an unfair advantage. If a transgender athlete wants to compete, it should be in a certain division made for them. Oh, I think that's unfair. Biologically speaking, as a man, you, just because you take estrogen, <laughs> you're still producing a lot more testosterone. She's a woman now. That's all it is. Yeah, I agree. I don't see why it would be an issue. People have been citing biological differences that are between men and women biologically. Men typically are taller. They have larger wingspans, a bigger frame that can give them an advantage advantage, especially in a sport like swimming where strength does matter. Do you think this might give Thomas an advantage over his competition? Yeah, obviously. There's definitely a biological relevant factor to it. I definitely see where that's coming from, certain physiological advantages. Like I used to run cross country. Understandably, the guys could run longer distances. First of all, we're at Georgia Tech. You would think people would be a little smarter than that. But second, <laughs> she is just now a woman. Michael Phelps has enlarged lungs. Does he have some sort of advantage compared yeah. to his components? That goes back to the concept that men are stronger than women, which I feel like is rooted in misogyny and sexism as is. So they should just let her play. Yeah, obviously he's been on estrogen for a little bit. They say that's enough. The biological fast twitch modules that he has from being a male his whole life gives him an unfair advantage. Yes, I do. Just naturally there is an advantage that men have over women just regarding strength and size. Since estrogen does change the bone density and muscle mass, if they are similar on average to a female, then they should be able to compete. Yeah. If they're transitioning after, they've already like developed muscles that could provide a little bit more of an advantage for them. Leah Thomas is slated to possibly break some records. He is also seated first in two events and 10th in a third. How do you think this is going to impact his women competitors? That's just unfair. To them. They've been training their whole lives yeah. for this and this one dude just comes out of nowhere for it. Exactly. I would not be thinking of that. It would not be my concern. I would support her decision to do whatever she liked. I'd be too worried like warming up in the bleachers to be concerned about my competitor. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. Might not be good on their mental health. Obviously those female competitors have been working their whole lives competing against a male. It might be hard seeing him break all their records. It would definitely be an adjustment that would be really intimidating for me. It could be a good thing because then they would know like how to keep up. Just based off of the natural unfair advantage, it could be disheartening if I know I'm going into an event where there is someone who can beat me just by the fact that they have different abilities from the get-go, not based off of training, that would be hard to handle. It's probably going to make it a little bit harder for them. If I were competing and I were sort of biologically disadvantaged, I wouldn't be dissuaded. Other people might feel differently. Do you believe that biological men should be allowed to compete in women's sports? I do not. I don't want to stop people from competing. It should be a separate division that allows people to compete based on their natural abilities. I'm kind of indifferent. If she feels like she's a woman, she should be able to compete women can train. It's not like impossible to compete against a biological man. It's an unfair advantage. If they have transitioned far enough, they should be able to compete. They should just stay out. Yeah. I'm kind of agnostic. There's definitely an argument against and sort of an argument for. Yeah, and vice versa. No, because even then, I think that you're trying to stir up controversy. At the end of the day, if we're going to go by like science, there are bigger issues and I'm not going to sit here and support transphobic interviews. So you can have a good one.